I can tell they put their heart and soul into it. There are very few people in this world <clears throat> that know what they like. They know what they love and they are passionate about that. There are very few people in that world that actually are like that and they pursue that passion. Let's go on to the actual one that I love. Rocking that 3090, I love me some Marvel. Everything custom built, desk, backdrop, everything is custom in this thing. So first of all, yeah. PC, obviously a big Marvel person. I like that he has even has the Infinity Stones right here. Um, got the Iron Man, looks like a, looks like a, a Iron Man gif with a kraken on it i absolutely like this look at this so this is i assume this is the camera okay. so this is the backdrop look at how many marvel figurines there are yeah. the little funko pop all these i think I, I assume almost every single one of these is funko pops right yeah look how many look how many thanos they have there's like at least 10 <laughs> okay, i see these guys right here <laughs> See the yeah. gauntlet. Oh, it looks like there's Iron Man's gauntlet and Finny gauntlet. Like, I just wanted to show this because this is an insane, uh, like, th like look at all this back here. That's for the actual setup itself. What do you think, Ivan? So, what I love about it is that you can clearly tell this person is passionate about Marvel and it shows you know they have like all these figurine stuff and it looks cool i think they did a really good job displaying it i also think that um you know they have a really like a lot of really good nice gear you know they have the tablet there on the left they have the stream deck they have um a headphone amp they have the the light ring they have the uh tripod with two cameras you can tell this person probably does like maybe YouTube unboxings or something of Funko Pops, I don't know. So I, I think the way this is set up, it's very professional, honestly, for what it is. You can tell, like, you probably do unboxing videos or something. My only gripe with this is that if this was my daily, like, workstation, I would probably become claustrophobic. <laughs> because I feel like these, like, Funko Pops are falling over me because there's just so many of them. I mean, it's like... The whole wall is covered in Funko Pops. Um, not that it's a bad thing. It's just probably the only thing where I'm like, you know, I would probably be worried about bumping into the bad and, you know, having to pull these things back up. But, mm -hmm. man, like, you can tell this person, like I said, loves Marvel. And they probably, they probably go on YouTube and make videos about this stuff. So, I would give this setup a... Oh, this is a tough one. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give this setup... A nine out of ten, mm. simply because I can tell they put their heart and soul into it. You know, like this is a really, really nice setup that you know it, it does display their passion. Um, it comes through, I think. I was gonna agree with that. I as much as like I do feel like it's a very cramped, like right around here with everything with the mice, mm. the keyboard. By the way, keyboard. Fantastic keyboard. I just want to throw out. I love the LEDs and the color scheme. Um, the stream stuff looks great. Yeah, I just I, I agree that I'd just be afraid to like move back or something like that or actually <laughs> yeah. hit the wall and everything yeah. falls down. Uh, but I agree with Ivan that the passion, you know, there are very few people in this world <clears throat> that know what they like. They know what they love and they are passionate about that. There are very few people in that world that actually are like that and they pursue that passion. And obviously this person is a very big Marvel person, so I have to give this a 9 out of 10 as well. Yeah. And I guess uh, another thing I just realized too is um, you're going to have to dust these things because it's probably going to collect a lot, right. <laughs> a lot of dust. So maybe he has like a little, or they have a little um, little brush that they just go through and mm -hmm. dust every little Funko Pop before they go live. I don't know, but yeah. Cool setup. Yeah, I agree. It's uh, the 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 cleaning. I mean, it's worth it to have this type of style. But yes, cleaning it may be a pain in the butt. But well done, well done. I would love. I would love it if they had just one random DC Funko pop in. There. Just like a random <laughs> Batman in the corner, like right here, just like peeking yeah. out. Just like staring at all the other ones, that'd be hilarious. I like that. Oh yeah, I didn't even see. There's Stanley right here. Where? I didn't see that right here. 
or by the oh. Captain America. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I, obviously cool. there is the uh, Stormbreaker right here. The Stormbreaker is actually really sick, and Mjolnir. So, I mean, I'm a big Marvel yeah. person too, but like having actual Stormbreaker that looks like it's an actual yeah. life size thing, pretty awesome. Like if I walked into this room, the first thing I would do is put on these gloves. Yeah, I would definitely <laughs> want to wear these gloves, 100%. Like what? Have the Iron Man hand in one, and then mm -hmm. the Thanos glove in the other. I love it. All right. Well, yeah, I gotta get this nine out of ten.